welcome back to the channel all right so in this video we are going to do a quick fsd beta drive we are here right around tyson's corner there was actually an accident that occurred on the other side of route 7 and there was like a major traffic jam so i just decided to make a u-turn and let the tesla reroute itself so now i'm heading left on Beulah and we're cutting through some back roads here I've got FSD running the show here so let's sit back relax make sure the seat belt is buckled because that is the only rule with FSD got the AC on chill since it's finally summertime it's starting to feel like here in the DMV and yeah I'm still on this one month trial on the model y so this is a hardware four vision only tesla fsd drive um cameras only going on here which you know at one point you know people thought elon was nuts for even just saying that a lot of companies are still are still um you know looking into lidar technology and uh we're seeing what Tesla is doing with vision only. It's it's pretty remarkable. So here we go. Very twisty back curvy roads we're on. So I wanted to make sure to make a video um, to see how FSD responds to these kind of roads. As you can see, we've got the sign marker coming up. Jagged 15 miles per hour warnings. So yeah. All in all, I've had some pretty good success in these type of back roads, but take a look at this turn coming up here. Super narrow. Um, they already suggested 15 miles per hour, but FSD took it at 29 with no issues whatsoever. I probably would have done the same thing naturally driving. And wow, look at that. Really, really good job there just kind of staying within the lane guidance and just keeping that uh, natural driving behavior throughout that curve really nice job a plus for that right there um, as you can see fsd is improving every time we get an update it sends back all the information that it learned from the entire fleet um, and all of the good and the bad it goes into um, making all the decisions that it does every day so as you can see here we go we're crossing the bridge this is the 66 i'm sorry the 267 bridge that's the toll road underneath us here so we're just trying to go around it from this area you need to know all the routes around the toll road because the navigation will always try to tell you to take the toll road but you cannot easily pop in here, avoid tolls, so that FSD won't just pop you onto a toll road. And that's, you know, something that I've set up as like my default setting. And I've never had FSD try to pop me onto a toll road. Living in this area, that's really important because Google Maps is default to tolls. And uh, if you don't fix that up, and you're, I know people that um, use you know gps to get to chick-fil-a's and back to work and stuff like that and wow look someone's got an old school tesla roadster out there very cool very cool yeah uh love to see that out here and look at the way fsd handling these roads really hilly back roads here on beulah um in um this uh wolf trap area there's actually a really cool venue right up here, Wolf Trap, for any of the locals that know. Um, this summer, they actually got a stack lineup. A lot of cool people are coming. Uh, make sure to check out their website. I'm really thinking about checking out the Nas concert, which is at towards the end of July. But there's some family stuff going on, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to attend. But really considering buying tickets to that as soon as possible. All right, check out this really busy stop sign we've got coming up here. And we're gonna let FSD handle recognizing the other car's positions and seeing when it's our turn. I love the AC controls on this too. It's live and you can really angle it to like where you are so it hits you directly in the face. 
and it gets cold pretty quick so notice I had to turn it down there perfect perfect execution at the stop sign there it went exactly when it was our turn um, and uh, yeah just a really nice job overall there I think if I'm not mistaken there are some speed bumps on this road coming up here so we we should be putting it through a true test I mean this is a really curvy narrow road there's houses here so you know this is a really good test for FSD to see how it handles itself and so far it has prevailed pretty nicely and if you're familiar with the area this pops you out right into Tyson's corner so yeah but as the years come along there's been so much construction as you can see like right over here they're really like um, they've changed Vienna and Tyson's corner so much it's, it's it's almost unrecognizable to some people that that's been out here for like you know, 10 years ago and whatnot all right so take a look at how we handled this really sharp turn here and just passing another model Y really nice job they had their hands on the wheel so I'm guessing they weren't using FSD but my hands are always hovering right here look at that Rivian R1T really cool I see a lot of those at the Charger now I'm definitely a big fan of Rivian cars and trucks I mean just Rivian trucks for, for now and uh, I hope to see them become the Apple car one day to really give Tesla a run for its money who knows competition is always good for everyone it always makes everyone better and uh, yeah overall I'm really excited about the industry in general um, definitely it's uh, exciting to, to, just to see what's happening um, and I know not everyone is happy about it but at the end of the day the choice will always remain you know gas or electric and gas cars aren't going away anytime soon if you know it's gonna start coming down to a choice if, if you like to drive gas cars, it, it may cost you more. It might be a costly habit. At this point, you're going to have to decide. Maybe in 2025, it's really going to just cost more to drive a gas car. And if that's what you really want to do, then so be it, you know? So um, these are questions you got to ask yourself and everything associated with it. So yeah, really nice job adjusting the speed. Um, we are in a 25 mile per hour per zone here, but we are also, um, you know, trying to mimic the traffic around us. And uh, if everyone's doing 34, we're going to do 34 also. It looks like FSD made that decision. Once again, you know, you're always responsible for any decision FSD makes. And no matter what, if you get pulled over, like right here, it says speed check by radar. Um, you know, you can't say that, oh, my car. And I like that fact that it's slowed down, too. Check this out. We got a speed bump coming up here. And FSD slowed down for it just in the nick of time. Man, I thought I was going to miss that. All right, let's see what it does on this one. It did a lot better really nice job with the speed hump and it didn't even catch it off guard this can catch a lot of drivers off guard if you're not looking at the road and i love how fsd did a fantastic job on this narrow road back here yeah hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so far make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of these type of videos i um, definitely going to be putting it to the test as much as possible especially in the dmv area if you're from here um make sure you subscribe all right so we have now been let out into uh tyson's corner and we are looking to uh get around um route seven so yeah fsd just doing a really fantastic job taking over and let's see how it does making a right at this light here so it's going to creep up find its footing see how much space it has see the cars coming and know as soon as it gets a clear shot which looks like it's right now it goes look at that it does exactly what i would have done 
and as soon as it turned, it turned out of this right turn lane to make sure it wasn't stuck in all this traffic. Really nice job with that. And it immediately put me in the left turn lane and it would have been nice if it just like punched it and caught that light like a real human would have done but <laughs> anyways make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video we're right here smack down on old courthouse and Chainbridge road very uh, historical spot in tyson's vienna right next to the toilet bowl building if you're familiar Make sure you subscribe for more and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.